How long does it really take to buy a house? That's the topic of my next video. How long does it actually take to buy a house? That's the topic of this video right now. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Schreier, and I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes Real Estate right here on Long Island, New York. Now, the buying process. Yes, it is a process. So let's start that process right now. Oh, keynote. Before you start the process, do you have the credit, the best credit you can possibly get? Because the higher your credit score, the better your interest rate. And two, do you have a significant amount of money saved for a down payment? If you can put at least 20% down, now I know that's a far stretch for a lot of people, but if you are close to it, if you know the value of your house and that you're looking to buy and you can put 20% down, you will save a lot of money on private mortgage insurance moving forward. So let's start that uh, count and see how long it will actually take you to buy a house so you can start the planning now. Number one, decide whether or not this is the right time. Big decision. If you want to buy a house in six to eight months or a year from now, plan appropriately. Is this the right time? What makes this time different than other times? I will tell you right now with mortgage rates being historically low, it is a great time to get involved in the market. So finding a great real estate agent. Yes, great real estate agent, great real estate agent. Find one. You need to start an interview process. You need to interview a couple of agents and ask friends, relatives, uh, for people that they've used in the past and that they like or they would recommend. There are some things you need to know. Number one, I'd say the most important thing besides them being licensed and knowing your area that you're looking to buy is do you have rapport with them? Can you communicate with them? Is there a chemistry? If you can't, if you just don't like how they work, then that's not the person for you. This can take anywhere from three days to approximately a week. Finding a lender and getting pre-approved, this can take about a week or less, depending upon how busy they are. Now in this seller's market here on Long Island, there's a lot of work these guys are doing in refinances. So it could take a little longer, but you ask when you're shopping around for that mortgage broker or lender how long that process will take. Again, make sure you get recommendations, either from the realtor that you just picked and or friends or relatives that have used the uh, mortgage bankers or brokers moving uh, in the past. Number four, uh, shop for a house. And this is the part that varies by the individual how long it's going to take. Some people find houses quickly. Others, it can take a long time. I will tell you, in this seller's market, there's not much inventory. It's going to take much longer than in the past. So that's something to think about. If it was a buyer's market, there's many houses on the market, and it's very easy for you to pick because the pickings is good. Not the case right now. It could take a significant amount of time, or you might be lucky and find it in the first week. Number five, negotiate with the seller. Once you find a house, this process should take about a week. There's some back and forth, then yes, negotiation is possible even in a seller's market. Number six, get your final pre-approval. Even though you were pre-approved for your mortgage, now is the time to show the docs. Now, all the documents. Now is also the time to show the house. Make sure that house appraises for what uh, your mortgage amount is going to be. Also, you have to show that you haven't went out and bought a car or changed, put a significant amount of money in, in your bank account that knocked off all the uh, pre-approval that they did before. So you, they now are going to make sure you are actually loan uh, ready. That can take one to three weeks, depending upon the time uh, timing of the market and also the bank or banker that you're using. Lastly, closing on the deal. How long could this take? Well, approximately 50 days on average now might be a little longer. I would say anywhere from five to eight weeks. I hope this information was helpful. If you are a buyer, it definitely gave you some insight. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes, and I'll see you on the next video. Yeah.